You're a skilled archer, as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Breath of the Wild Glitch Run video here. So last episode I talked about going into the Rito Village and starting that Divine Beast. So today I'm uh, actually follow through with that. So let's zip on over, or I guess fail, dang it. So let's zip on over here to Rito Village. Dang it. So let's zip on over here to Rito, oh, so let's walk on into Rito Village here. And of course, just like the other three Divine Beasts, once we get close enough, there is going to be another cutscene showing off the Divine Beast and how it is terrorizing the town. Anyway, here we are in Rito Village. Game's lagging a little bit here. But, right up the stairs, right dead straight ahead is the goddess statue right there. And, right over here, let's see, where is it? Right here is the special armor shop. I'm gonna go buy me some armor real quick. There we go. So now I have the snow quill set, which means I now have uber cold resistance. Yes. Every divine beast starts, you gotta go talk to the elder of the village, introduce yourself, and then figure out where you're supposed to go from there. So I'm gonna go unlock this shrine real quick, and then let's go talk to the elder again. He is right over here. Dialogue. Oh, uh, visitor, welcome to... Oh, oh. oh. That object on your hip, could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I'm Canelli, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah sleep dangling from your hip? Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Ravale, one of the few able to board the Divine Beast Vault Metal. Now what am I thinking, the champions have all been dead for a hundred years, this boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of Sheikah sleep. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you could help us. Please, find Tiva. If you work together, you may be able to stop uh, Meadow. So, we gotta go find Tiva. And we could go sell that lady some baked apples there, but... Tiva is right over at the flight range, which is over that way, Summer. But, let's see. What happens if you know where Tiva is? Let's find out what happens if you talk to him before you're actually supposed to. So here we are at the flight range, and right up there in the little hut will be Tiba working on his bow. They should be there, theoretically. Or not, I guess. Turns out you actually have to go talk to the Rito, the, his wife, in the village. Huh. Dang it, they thought of everything. Okay, so we actually have to go locate Tiba real quick, or locate the Tiba's wife, I think. But she is right over here at the very convenient glowing point. Yeah, she just tells you where Tiba went. He went to the flight range, and then she tells you right down there. You can head out from there and go straight to the flight range. But memory time. Oh yeah. Turn off my webcam for this. Boy. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar 
It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I have been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong? Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know! How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me! I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own! Descendant, are you alright? My apologies, I fear I may have said too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please don't hesitate to ask. Alright, now Tiva will actually be there. So, I'm just gonna warp on over real quick. Save me some time. My water bottle go. There's my water bottle. Losing my mind. Alright, actually, real quick though, before I do this, I want to get the moon jump glitch again. I'm going to be using it a lot next episode, but I want to try it out for this one real quick, so be right back. I think my horse, my horse, yes, forever be called a horse now. My horse Steve is still at the archery range. I think I left him there every time I get the glitch. I feel bad for him, he's just standing under a tree waiting for me to come back. Alright, let's see if I can stick the landing here. See if I can do it. Yeah, that looks about right. Yay! Steve, come here, save me! Denied. Steve, you didn't save me! And we're back! So, I finally got the moon jump going, and gonna go talk to Tiva here, shoot the targets, and then go take on Divine Beast Bob Meadow. Anyway, let's go talk to Tiva right over here. Another quick little cutscene. Yeah? I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Don't actually know what he's adjusting because it's not a compound bow. You can't adjust traditional bows like that. Alright, anyway, let's talk to him. Did you need something? I'm busy here. I can help you. Help me? With what exactly? Balmetto. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Balmetto. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? Link, huh? Look. You seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. And that is... Once Divine Beast Val Meadow falls from the sky. Well, let's get started. Ah! Well, far be it for me to talk to you off the ledge. We approach Meadow recklessly. Its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we ever get close. I'm gonna need to test you before I take you with me. Enough to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets up in the valley in three minutes. Alright. I am not going to actually use the updraft, that's why I got the moon jump. Let's see what happens, does he actually say anything if you don't ever do that? Though truth be told it's going to be a little harder here just because I can't ever actually enter bullet time, which means that I am going to be constantly hopping when I'm lining up my shots. And being steady is very nice in archery. But, we're doing well here, can I go 4 for 4? Hey, and one more, this one's gonna be real easy, if I miss this I'm uninstalling. Hey, oh bye. You're a skilled archer, as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadows, now or never. Right, get on. So technically, you are writing... T 
Sativa here, does it count as a mount? I don't think so, actually. I think since it's in a cutscene, the game doesn't actually count it as mounting something, which if you do the moon jump and you mount something, the glitch deactivates. When he, yeah, and he dumps you right before you get control, so yeah. I don't think this actually counts. That's Divine Beast uh, Meadow. Has his berry up again, what a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Is a bad case of silent protagonist. Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannon. Got it so far? You need to withdraw a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. Take that as a sign we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's barrier, it's impenetrable. Whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. Apparently I know this is said a few times, but don't forget your cold protection. Well, it's a little late for that, I'm already up here. Alright, let's go. Let go, let's do this. Hey, oh. Ah, dang it, the moon jump glitch does end. Shoot! So I just wasted some time. That's nice. But I remember, I got the moon jump glitch up here before. I forget how I did that. So you need two bomb arrows for each cannon there. So just zip on over here. Still far enough away. The laser blasts, they have so much travel time that being far away, they can't hit you really. You just walk and they'll miss. That's Kobe this shot here. There we go, Kobe. Hey, look at that. Just like I planned it. I missed my next one. Shoot. Kobe. And... Hey, there we go. This time. There it is. Ish, maybe. Alright, long shot time. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Alright, that was pretty low. Let's go a bit higher there. Come on. Trouble is, it still does move through the air. Like you saw earlier. Last shot. And yay! Oh. Yay, I mean. There it is, and last one. Hold off while I'm dropping for the win. Hey! Just like I had eyes. So, with that, the barrier goes down, and we can now enter the Divine Beast. Which, again, how was Tiva planning on bringing it down if he couldn't enter it beforehand, but. Cutscene time, so make my camera disappear. That thing is history! Well now, I've seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit... indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Guidance Stone has the information for the layout of this Divine Beast. Can you make it there? 
I think this will be a good place to call it for this episode. Next episode, we'll be going into the Divine Beast and actually finishing it and killing the Blight of Ganon all in one go instead of breaking it up like I normally have been. But anyway, after that, it's simply going into Hyrule Castle and killing Ganon. So, almost done with the main story here, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the next video when it comes out, and like the video too if you did like it, it would mean a lot to me. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, you can check out some of my other videos right here, and see ya in the next one. Bye bye